A big win for women fighting to keep Sweetbriar College open in Virginia, but it's not without some challenges. Diane Cho has reaction from both students and staff. Julia Reinhardt spent the last few months scrambling to find another school. Nothing even came remotely close. Before the announcement today, the incoming sophomore settled on an out-of-state university. But now her plans are changing once again as she prepares to head back to the school she adores. I was just so blown away by the passion and love that all the students that attend there have. A Bedford County Circuit Court judge approved plans to keep the small private women's college open this fall. I do believe there's a lot of work ahead of us. After the school's president announced a closure back in March, supporters like Nalani Mani have been working around the clock to keep the doors open. A part of the approved mediated settlement includes a $12 million donation from the alumni group Mani is a part of called Saving Sweetbriar, along with a change in leadership. But some say there are still many unanswered questions after the school announced its decision to close due to, quote, insurmountable financial challenges. It's finding out what went wrong, finding out who went wrong, and fixing those issues. Even though Reinhardt says she still worries about what will happen two years from now. It's definitely a concern in the back of my mind. She believes her future is looking much brighter. I think that seeing all of the alums come together this past four or five months has been really eye-opening and that there's really nothing that we can't do. Diane Show, News Channel 8.